Hello everyone. In today's video, we will fix Logitech MX Master 3S gestures not working. So to fix this problem, you can simply follow this step. So the step one is to verify and reset the gesture settings in Logi Option Plus. You can simply install this software. Then after you can select the MX Master 3S and navigate to the settings of it. And then here you can simply tap the button that verify the gestures are enabled or not. So here you see the very gestures and make sure that it will assign for our virtual desktops to move left, right, up, down and many more. Okay. You can also here give them a many other gestures like media control, window management, app navigations and many more. Okay. So you can simply firstly verify that it's assigned or not. Then after you can simply try to use it. And then if you are facing a problem and there it means there may be any system glitches. So now you can simple open the settings and then you can simple reset to default settings. It can simple restore your device settings to the default. Okay. And after that, you can try to do it again. The next step is to you can simple check for firmware update. So check for updates. And now make sure that you are running in the latest software version. If not, you can download it. Right now you will see I am my software is up to date. The next step is to you can simply clean the gesture button. Dirt or stickness on the gesture button can prevent it from registering pressure and disabling gesture. In that case, you can simply clean the area of the thumb gesture. Then after here you will see inside a small hole. You can simply clean it using the compressed air or the brush. After that, you can try to use it again. Don't use water or hard alcohol. You can use isopropyl that are light, lighter and then you can easily clean it for any dirt, drops or stiffness. Okay. The next step is to you can simple power cycle and repair the mouse. So a connectivity glitch may prevent gestures input from registering despite the mouse piece connected. In that case, you can simple turn off the mouse by simple toggle of the button. Then after you can simple wait for some times or also if you are connected using a logic bolt receiver, you can remove the bolt. And also if you are connected with a Bluetooth, you can simple remove your device from the Bluetooth. After that, Third, after 30 or seconds or one minute, you can turn it back on and then again place the logic bolt receiver or using the Bluetooth, you can simple again connect it by simple using the Bluetooth add device and then turn it into a pairing mode. And once it will in a pairing mode, you can simple connect it here. Okay, it will reflect here. The next step is to you can simple check the is there any hardware problem or not? You can press this button or feel any kind of damage inside it and the sound like tick tick tick. If you found it means there may be a hardware problem. In that case, you can simply contact the customer support for further assistance. Goodbye.